The Wellington Phoenix were um, crying out for the attention of James McConey. They just love him. <laughs> uh, and so, like, look, we'll get him down to the club and have him talk to a few players. So he's got the goal scorer and the scrapper. This is James McConey with Alex Roofer and Ollie Sale. There it is. Another Phoenix game, another Phoenix fight. And there's a scrap of the first two. What's going on at the end of these games? Oh, mate, a lot of, it, lot of emotion. Uh, everybody's probably breathing heavily, uh, blood's boiling, and then, yeah, just, just a few fisty coughs, but it's always just handbags and football, mate. No danger of anyone getting hurt, um, other than a you know, broken manicure or pedicure or something, but <laughs> no real danger of anyone doing anything tough. The Mariners ripped this sail after their 2-1 loss on Sunday, but who can forget the Barney and Brizzy? But it's kicking off. The set to in Sydney. It's not friendly at all. Or when they got it on in Wollongong. Marcelo involved, Ollie Sale never far from the action. That was just a, felt like we'd been disrespected. He wouldn't shake our hands. And, you know, we, we're not going to stand there and be disrespected. I don't care what level you've played at or what you've achieved in your career. You're getting under the skin of the Australians. Is it you personally or the whole team? I don't know, mate. I seem to be at the, the crux of it every time. But, no, I'm not. I'm not trying to get out of anyone's skin. Ollie Sale insists he's a glover, not a fighter. He could see the funny side of it. The best bit about sport is you fight your heart out and then you shake the opponent's hand and hopefully have a beer with them or something afterwards. And he's proud that the Knicks won't be intimidated. We're a one and all in kind of group, so, you know, if the boys are, boys are jumping in to get behind someone's back, then that's OK with me. But Sunday also brought the joyous news of Alex Roofer breaking his nine-year scoring drought. Did it bug you that you hadn't scored a goal in this 107 games? Yeah, well, it, it played on my mind a little bit, but I knew it would come. Um, obviously, it was a long time coming. I'm um, buzzing for him, you know, eight years of, of, of grinding for that one. Alex signed with the Knicks on his 17th birthday. Then he hit the post in his second game and finally scored age 26. Rufa's father Shane was an all-white and his uncle Winton is a legend who scored goals around the world. So what does Uncle Winnie say? He just tells me just to keep playing my game and just worry about myself and uh, take a few more risks going forward, which he's, he's right in saying that. But um, yeah, look, I mean, I've got, you know, my dad and my uncle giving me advice, so I'm pretty, pretty blessed with that. Yeah, I'm blessed is one way to put it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sale has been busy stopping goals, and that game in Sydney with the double penalties and the dying moments was unforgettable. That was, that was big for us. It's, look, it's kick-started a bunch of results that, that have gone our way and it'll be something we hopefully look back on and go, yeah, that was, um, that was something that, that just charged us up for the rest of the year. Well, you can fire shots at this sale, but he won't back down. So you were wandering around topless like you are in Braveheart. Yeah, very William Wallace-esque. <laughs> <laughs> you can take my jersey, but you'll never take my freedom. Yeah. Exactly right, mate. So. <laughs> James McConey, Kiwi Football Fix.